This world was once a civilization brought together by magic and technology. As civilization advanced, those who possessed the power of technology and magic segregated due to their difference in ideas and formed two separate societies of humans and demons. The human race continued to develop their civilization with technology, while the demons started to construct their own society with magic. The balance did not hold for very long, however, and technology was gradually replacing magic. Soon afterwards, an ultimate weapon from the technological civilization appeared, and in an ironic twist of fate, lost control and destroyed the whole world, along with all civilization therein. Nearly a thousand years have gone by without incident, until one day the ancient technology living deep within the earth was excavated. Mankind was once again on its way to committing the same mistakes of the past. Since long ago, the world has stood by four mysterious temples controlling the forces of nature, each protecting the kingdom. The Cruz Kingdom governs the water with the Moon Temple. It paints a beautiful picture of a land covered in water. The bold Galen Kingdom emerges as a tropical desert climate near the Sun Temple. It is a unified, intrepid kingdom. In the polar regions is the Zak Empire. Its technological research has flourished with the power of the Star Temple. The Lear Kingdom lies along a picturesque scenery protected by the Wind Temple. It is a matriarchal society. The world was at peace when suddenly demons from legend appeared throughout the land. Humanity panicked and was at a loss. What have the demons come for? What secrets do the temples hold? Just who is behind all this? Who will see through this shrouded mystery? Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Brave Battle Saga Legend of the Magic Warrior. Now Brave Battle Saga is a role-playing game for the Sega Genesis. It was made in 96 by Chuan Fu Technologies. Uh, this game never came to the States. In fact, as I understand, it wasn't even licensed for the Sega Genesis and was made with a lot of assets from other games, which is part of the reason I want to play it because I want to see exactly what assets they pulled from other games. And if you look here on our title screen, you can see that there's a copyright down there, 2010, Ginny and Steve Martin. Those are two uh, fellows that took the time to translate this game and make it playable for English-speaking audiences. I've never played this game before, I've never gone through it before, so this is entirely blind. In fact, I don't even know what the controls are for this game. This is stuff we're going to figure out as we're playing. Now, Brave Battle Saga is also known as Barba Battle Saga, Tai Kan Zan Shi, when it was made in China and never came over here. In fact, I don't think it made its way anywhere except maybe for Russia at one point. But I don't know enough about the background there. So I am ready to start this out. I want to see what type of game we got here. I became aware of this uh, from watching an episode of Game Shack, actually. They did a review on bootleg games, and I absolutely thought I had to give this a shot. It looked really good. So, you know what? I'll put a link up to that episode of Game Shack, and I'll also see if I can get a link to the people who translated this. But let's get on with the game. They're finally making their move, Father. If we don't act now, they probably know now. I must stop its awakening before all innocent life is put at risk. Well, of course we start in a happy little village, but it's not going to last long. What are you doing, Tim? I, uh, nothing, I swear. What's this? Where did you get these notes from? Oh, these? They were on the floor. Are they yours? Quiet. What did you see? Just a small bit. Are these your science notes? Have you any idea what you, you're getting yourself into? What? You mean these notes? Enough. I don't need to stand by and watch you do this anymore. He seemed upset. 
It's just some notes. What's he so worked up about? He's just looking out for you. Chin up. I'll always love you, no matter what. Today is the town's festival. Are you ready? Are you hoping I win the title of number one warrior this year? Of course I am. You're my son. Your father would be so proud if you won. But most of all, I want you to be happy and live a safe life. Don't worry. I'll take the title and make both you and Dad proud. Alright, do we have control of the game? There we go. Oh, we found a healing, healing herb. What does Mom have to say? Better get ready for the festival. So far, it's kind of giving me a Chrono Trigger vibe. I was getting that same vibe from the opening. Some of the monsters look like they were pulled straight from Chrono Trigger. Fire Dragon's Tooth. Okay, that's the menu. Let's see. Not bad. No, no spells yet. There we go, simple stuff. Pocket knife, leather shield, leather cap, and light clothing. this props. It's probably like key items and stuff like that. Options. Well, it looks like we're gonna have parties of four. Yeah, we'll keep everything the way it is. Files. Yeah, might as well save. You know my rules, save all them. going on outside. The festival ends every year once the village chooses a warrior. See how our neighbors are doing. It's not fair. That's my candy. I want it fair and square. Tell her it's mine, Tim. Well, I don't know if it's yours. I'm gonna say no. Hey, that's mine. You're the best, Tim. It's not fair, that's my candy. Same thing. Well, that obviously has changed the, out court, the outcome of this whole game. We'll have to see what happens. My decision not to give the boy his candy. Don't tell anyone, but I'm going to marry whoever becomes this year's warrior. Good luck, Tim. Nothing on the clock. The forbidden caves of Azure Forest are ruins from ancient times. It's a very evil place. I will talk to you already. That looks like game progress. I'm gonna look around a little more first. Oh, there's our inn. No goodies in the pots or pans. The festival is always a blast each year. Okay, that bunny girl blowing kisses at us looks like somebody I should recognize. If he is ten gold, will you stay the night? No. No, we don't need to stay tonight. I was chosen as this town's warrior fifty years ago. Those were the days. Yeah, I bet things were a little bit better back then. No horrible death machines being unearthed. You can't leave until the festival is over. I don't plan on leaving just yet. You men are pretty courageous to enter the Azure Forest. That place gives me the creeps. Well, oh, brave or stupid, pick one or the other. Well, that's not true. It could be both. The Elder Son Hemo scares me. Ooh, we got a nice chunk of money. Does tell us whether or not it's better to get the new equipment. So you know what? Let's grab a scarf. Let's grab some white robes. I'll f I'll figure this out eventually. There's most of our money.
I don't know, should I treat this game as if it's a, a, a normal, reasonable game where we can sell our equipment? Or should I treat this as a game where I better hang on to everything? Everything that I possibly find, just in case I need it later. Well, you know what? I've never played it before, so might as well just be careful. I really admire your father. He knows so much that we don't. He's a genius. Ah, there you go. You're the, you're the son of the town genius. My son is always with that Hemo kid. I hope he doesn't pick up any bad influences. My son is entering this year's competition, too. I'll be so proud if he makes it. left for the older. This is your first time this year, so have fun. You better hurry along, it's almost time. Well, that dialogue was in yellow, which means it's probably important information. Okay, let's go say hello to everybody. You're in their competition too? Don't make me laugh. Nice guy. Hemo will definitely take this year's title. Of course I will. I'm the Elder Son. There's no way I'll lose. The Warrior competition is about to start. I'm so nervous. I really admire your father. Well, we've talked to you, haven't we? Alright. You got here just in time. We're about to start. Oh, there's my dad. Now that our day is reaching an end, it's time to choose our village's warrior for this year. Ahem, I will go over the rules once more. Whoever can get the teardrop of the holy tree, which rests in the azure forest, will be titled this year's warrior. I must also point out that the forbidden cave in the forest is strictly off limits to anyone. You are forbidden to enter it, which means we're clearly going here. Now that you are all prepared, we shall begin. Go! And off they run. Just remember to have fun and give it your best out there. They all ran this way. Uh, and that looks like our first enemy. Now, one of the things I do know about this game is that you have to make contact with the enemies before you get into a fight with them. So, let's try this little slime over here first. And the skull looks like it's actually following me. <laughs> okay, now we got an active time battle here, so Tim's bar is filling up. Now, Tim can... Well, he's going to attack. It's the only thing he's got. Oh, we got a powerful attack. And 20 XP, which I think we're not gain a level. Yep. This will go by pretty quick. Okay, there's the skull still flying after us. <laughs> and when the skull gets us, we fight a slime. says powerful attack every time, or if that's like the critical hit. Well, let's take on another slime. Well, no, no powerful attack message, so yeah, it must be critical hits. You know, one of the things they complained about on Game Shack was how slow this went. But I don't know, this, this is going by plenty quick for me. Skulls are a bit tougher than the slimes. So the music doesn't sound too bad, I just don't get enough time to listen to it. Alright, 
I guess maybe maybe the programmers did something wrong, and the the slimes aren't uh, in the field get you skulls in the battle, and the, the skulls in the field get you slimes in the battle. Okay, we can go over here. Oh, that's probably the cave they told us about. Bidden cave, no entry. Alright, well, while we're looking at the menu, the slime doesn't get us. But I'm sure once we get out of here, the slime's gonna get us. Oh, and it is a slime this time. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to assume that it's random. So even though we're not allowed to go in, let's poke our head. Looks like that forbidden cave. Looks like that forbidden cave the Elder was talking about. I better not go in. Alright, you go ahead, you follow the rules. Oh, we got another cave over here. We also have a treasure chest. Oh, I was wondering when Tim was going to gain a level. Healing potion. Take a look at what his stats look like. Oh, very nice. He recovers his health when he levels up. Alright, he'll get his next level in 86 experience points. Either a worm or a snake. I'm gonna finish exploring the forest before we go into the cave. open for little secret paths. Ah, looks like we gotta go into one of these caves. Oh, no we don't. I remember hearing... There's an auto attack. Ooh, nice chunk of change. Well, let's try to repeat. No, I guess not. over here. Another cave. I have to remember, there's three of them back this way. And there's a fourth one up here. Well, I think we should backtrack and go through them in, uh, in the order that we found them. Try to get around them. All right, good job, Tim. All right, leveled up. 
Level ups seem to be about the same every time. 6 HP, 6 MP, and 2 for all other stats. Huh. Alright, it brings us out over here. Well, let's fight this snake worm. Which is actually a slime. Spider was a slime. Okay, now that we're actually going in deeper. Leather shield. Don't we have one of those already? Yes, we do. Yeah, we came out over here already. So this is the only one left to explore. And I see a treasure chest. Alright, a slime and a skull. I'm pretty sure we take a slime out with one hit, so let's do that. Yeah, the battle music's pretty good. Tim, you took a bit of beating there. Probably heal you. Eye drops. Eh, slimes and skulls. Why the heck would anyone want to live next to this? And we have... Antidote. Wonder if that means we're going to be fighting enemies that blind us and poison us soon. This should be the Holy Tree. I wonder where the others are. There's no way they're this slow. Uh-oh. So you're the one who came to take this... So, you're the one who's come to take the teardrop this year. You... you talk? You're going to have to beat me first if you want the teardrop. So what is this, boss fight time? Well, the music isn't any different. He doesn't hit much harder than the other enemies. Oh, but we hit you hard. Go get him, Tim. Tornado. That doesn't sound good. Hopefully we won't do that too often. Okay, I think it's time to heal.
Hey, we got that dragon's tooth. Let's use it. It worked. 200 XP. Very nice. And Tim's leveled up. You leveled up twice. Okay. I'll take that. Azure Teardrop. Well, I guess that's it. We are all done here. And sure enough, there it is. So, you know what I think we're going to do? We're going to save here. And I think that is going to be it for today's episode of Brave Battle Saga. So, so far, my initial impressions are good. I, um... I'm digging this game, and I'm looking forward to playing it more. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.